When we take a breath, we are introducing tens of thousands of pathogens into our lungs. With a surface area the size of a tennis court, this is the main battleground in our fight against infection. And crucial to this battle is our lymphatic system, a complex network of vessels and nodes. When pathogens land on the lung lining, their presence attracts the attention of special white blood cells, dendrocytes. They don't attack the invader themselves. Instead, they take a sample of the pathogen and carry it back via the lymph vessels to a lymph node, which holds a kind of library of responses to pathogens we've encountered in the past. If the sample is recognized, this triggers the production of custom-made antibodies designed specifically to target the invader, which flood into the bloodstream in their billions. These latch on to the invading pathogen, effectively smothering it and killing it. Our immune system tirelessly patrols our bodies, keeping pathogens at bay. But on the rare occasions they manage to penetrate our defenses, the invaders are faced with perhaps the most powerful hunter killers in our body's armory. And at the University of Manchester, Professor Dan Davis is making groundbreaking discoveries about these hunter killers our natural killer cells. Um, if you said, what does a natural killer cell look like? I'd go, oh, it must be covered in vicious spikes and, and look totally menacing, which it does. Some of those spikes would be part of the way in which it senses the presence of other cells. If another cell touched that region, then these spikes would sense the presence of other cells, and then the cell would move over. We have around 10,000 of these natural killer cells in every drop of our blood. These are what we rely on to fight off colds and flu when they've infected our cells. Dan uses advanced microscope technology to watch the cells in action. We've taken um, cells out of someone's blood and we've isolated these particular white blood cells, natural killer cells, uh, and we've colored them blue. And then these are virus infected cells, green, and we're watching them now live as the natural killer cells move around this dish and you can see that it sticks onto that virus infected cell and you can see killing it as it turns from green to red. When the blue cell grabs the green one, there, there does seem to be this very physical struggle and then that sudden change to red. And that natural killer cell, that white blood cell is particularly good at killing this cell, so it's now killed another one. So it's sequentially moving on from one infected cell to another one to another one, and each time it's killing it, and it's turning from green to red. 